Going to catch the next ride in the four side. And we're off. Wait, what's going on? Is it safe to drive that on the road? Found a diamond. You gave me a freaking diamond? Well, now we've gotten ourselves a big-ass diamond. What are we going to do with it? I have an idea. Let's go save the one Runaway 5 yet again. Okay, here we are back at the theater. We're going to go buy a ticket. 30 bucks for a freaking show. Huh. Now, before we go in and see this show, let's go over here. Now, I believe we've been here before. This is where, uh... Million bucks. Yeah, we've been here before. But what's this? A diamond? Gotta go over to the back and show her up close. Whoa! <laughs> you guys owe me so big. Yeah, we get it. Makes me wonder what kind of contract they could have gotten into that would indebt them for a million dollars to this theater owner. Considering that they've only really been here for a few days, I imagine. Okay, they're going to put on one more show before they leave the theater. So let's go check that out. Apparently, Ness decided he was going to turn around and stare at the door.
Just who the hell is that supposed to be? Now that can't be safe. Music just ended all of a sudden, did you hear that? Venus, that was her name. Ah, I'd forgotten. Okay, now that we are done with this whole Runaway 5 nonsense, we can continue on with the game. Now, you notice something has happened. The department store has reopened! Remember, it's been closed for the entire time we've been in Foresight. That was a bofo. Okay, let's make our way to the department store and check out what awesome products they have. I'm gonna go get that butterfly first. Okay, for, no re for real now, we're gonna go check out the department store. And you'll notice it is very much like the one in Tucson. No. No, no returning. It's very much like the one in Tucson. Only, it is much larger. Well, at least, uh, noticeably larger. The original Tucson one, you had the ground floor. You can come up into this floor here. And then you could go up one more story. And you'd be on the top floor. But what's this? Another escalator? We can go up even higher? Whoa, what is this? Now we're on the top floor. I know there's a lot of stuff up here. Oop, what is this? A room in the back? That's an empty office. Eh, whatever. Now, while we're in here, it's time to go and buy some new equipment, because we've been stuck with the same old crap we've had for a while. Now, as strange as it may sound, I am not going to be spending any money on Paula just on Ness and Jeff. And unfortunately, we don't have the kind of weapons that I want to be buying for them here. Just a coin of the fence, I don't have enough money for that right now. I'm going to have to hit up the ATM and come back up here. Oh, how convenient. I'll take ten grand. Too much crap in here, so I'm gonna have to take something off of it. Coin of Slumber and Coin of the Fence both are good for Jeff. Unfortunately, I can only use one of them. So I'm going to use a more expensive one, it's probably better. And get rid of that hard hat. Wow, he still had a hard hat on. Huh. Well, anyway, moving on. Time to get some better weapons for Ness over here at the sports, as usual. Baseball bats. Oh, look at that. Nothing better. Oh, wow, I actually expected something to be here. They're always so rude to you when you don't buy anything. Tool shop. What do you have? Gold bracelet. I can buy one of those for Jeff and Paula. 
course, uh, as I said before, I'm not going to be equipping Paula with some stuff right now. So, uh, just for Jeff. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, stuff. Uh, yeah, I will be showing you what every store has to offer. I'm not going to bypass anything. And, of course, we have the Burger Barn. And they have double burgers here. They're like the regular burgers, only they're gooder. They be gooder. I'm not going to buy any, though. They're about as good as a picnic lunch. Hey, that one was, wasn't rude or anything. And we have this shady bastard hanging out in this room over here. Ooh, what's this? He's got some awesome new weapons. Yeah, equip it. Now notice his old weapon, the, um... Where is it? Laser gun. The laser gun was something that Jeff had built. So therefore, it is not something that you can sell. If Jeff builds or repairs or whatever his own weapons, nobody's going to want to buy them. So, I uh, just give up on that. Okay, the way seasonings work, which is what this lady is selling, is they take up an individual area in your inventory, but when you eat a regular kind of food, you add the seasoning to it, like the ketchup packet for the uh, for a hamburger. It's being uh, be honest with you, it's not something that I'm going to be doing a lot during this game because it takes up too much room in your inventory. Granted, it is a little bit cheaper to have a ketchup packet and a standard hamburger than it is to have a double burger or a picnic lunch or anything like that. But I just don't see it being worth it, considering that... Considering that, you'll notice that almost all of my inventory, or in fact right now, all of my inventory is full. So yeah, it's a lot to carry around. In fact, I'm gonna have to... I'm thinking about getting rid of something here, so I can... So I can buy some more stuff. I'm gonna use a for sale sign. I'm going to speed up... Oh, never mind. Paula has this ribbon. Get rid of that. Let's see if I have anything else that's good to get rid of right now. Coin of Defense. Oh, I already had a Coin of Defense and I forced... Uh, <laughs> I forced Jeff to go get another one. Oh, what a shame. We can increase defense. I had this the whole time and I didn't equip it. God, what's wrong with... Well, uh... <laughs> another item I can sell. Not a bad haul on something I'm not going to use anymore. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the... Oh, look, carton of cream. This is a condiment. This is something that you can use with other items. Yeah. Since I already got it, I won't throw it away. And you may see me use it later. But what I'm gonna do right now... And, you know, it, it's... I'm not gonna tell you why. Just... You probably already know, but... It's a good idea not to have Paula have any good items. So you're going to want to do whatever it takes to get good items off of Paula before you leave the department store. Okay, I'm not going to be needing... 
the laser gun anymore. I could just throw it away, but I'll do this. Uh, I probably don't need the shield killer for a while. See if there's anything else. Uh, insecticide spray. I won't be eating that for now. Okay, that'll do it. Make sure you get the for sale sign off of Paula. I have it there. It doesn't mean you're going to have it there. Now we have two... Uh, no. I'm going to get these... This super bomb off of Paula. And I'm also going to grab one of these picnic lunches. These things are good to have. Okay, I believe we're set. Oh, what's going on? Oh, crap! Paula disappeared. That creepy-ass alien just took her. Okay, they made a, uh... PA system announcement for him to go up there, but... That's a little weird, but hey, whatever. Game's a little weird. Now the types of enemies you'll be fighting around here come in present boxes, and that one managed to surprise attack me. Kind of the opposite way around. Mystical record. Now the enemies, as <laughs> these weird ass present enemies you'll find are not very difficult. And they're actually quite a bit easier than the enemies we had fought before, and there's a good reason for that, because remember, Paul is missing. We're down a man, so... or a girl, whatever. So they can't be as tough, now can they? Now that back room with the office, that's where we need to go. Ooh, powerful lightning attacks. Better take them out quick before Jeff gets destroyed. I'd hoped. Wow, that was a rough battle. Fortunately, I grabbed these life noodles off of Paula before she disappeared. So, bam. Okay, we should be good to go. Here's where we need to go. It's that creepy ass alien. Exactly trash talk. I'm not type I'm not entirely sure what kind of attacks this thing uses, but I'm gonna use these shield attacks. But really, yeah, as long as this big bottle rocket hits, this boss is gonna be a lot easier. Oh, never mind, uses magic attacks. Look at that damage! Yeah! What else do I have? Ah, super bomb. Let's see that. Whoa, nice! 
wreck that bastard real quick. And the level up, sweet. New life up, and Jeff gets a level up too. Not a very good one, but it still happened. Well, you know, everything's back to normal. But, you know, Paul is still missing, so not entirely back to normal. This Monotoli bastard is the one that has Paula. And he's hanging around with Pokey, so you know he's up to something bad. The problem is, we can't just go into the Monotoli building. Yes, we've already tried that, we got kicked out. So, uh... Well, we're gonna have to go someplace else. I seem to recall... Somebody saying something. Oh, look, it's the hint guy. Somebody saying something about Mr. Manatoli. He was hanging around the. Uh oh. Something about Mr. Manatoli hanging around the cafe. Let's go find that cafe. Oh, apparently, it's not where I thought it was. Gotta be up here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it's up here. Yeah, okay, here we are. The noise outside, I doubt it's baseball, but if there's noise outside, let's check it out. Oh, what? Well, hold on. Is that that Everdread creepy freak? Well, he's asking for something. I guess I better give him that carton of cream. It's a good thing you're sticking to your convictions, Everdred. No, I'd rather not. Well, hold on. What? Weren't you dying a second ago? Okay. Maybe he wasn't dying. But anyway, he said inside the cafe was the, uh... Oh, what he was talking about a second ago was, remember back when we were in Happy Happy Village, the car painter guy, he... had that evil money money statue that that liar age rate dude had dug up under... under the original town. Well, anyway, it appears as though that's in a very evil, evil statue. And this Monotoli guy stole it from Everdred, who stole it from Carpenter, who likely bought it from that Digger dude. 
So the Money Money statue is in Forside, and that's probably the cause of all the freaky ass crap that's been happening. But, um. Everdredge says in the cafe there is a secret little door, so we're gonna go check that out. But, uh, I'm gonna go end this episode here, so tune in for the next one, and we'll go check out what is behind this little compartment here.